Welcome back to another edition of Ask Layton. I'm Layton Hale, Senior Counseling Advisor with Homeport, and I'm always happy when I'm able to speak with Isabel Giles, Loan Program Manager with Homeport, because she always brings us good news. And I understand she has some great news to share with us today. Welcome back, Isabel, to Ask Layton. Thank you, Layton. And hello to everyone out there that is watching this presentation today. So Isabel, I understand that there has been some changes to one of the programs that you work with. So what is the good news? I'm here today because I want to share with you important changes in our Franklin County down payment assistance. And I'm going to start by saying that now our program offers 5% of the purchase price up to $15,000 to be used by the home buyer as a down payment, closing costs, and any other remaining fees that needs to be paid within the purchase transaction. Wow, so that is great news for our home buyers. When I work with my first time home buyers, I always tell them that they need to save money. Is there any limit in the amount of savings that the applicant can have in their account and still qualify for this assistance? The homeowner, now is allowed to have any amount of savings in their bank's accounts and still are able to apply for our program. That is real good to know. So let me ask you, what happens if the applicant is receiving assistance from their lender to pay for closing costs or even down payment? Can they still apply? If the home buyer is using any assistance that the lender offers to help with down payment and closing costs, still this homeowner can apply for our assistance. For example, if the lender is offering to the home buyer $2,000 for uh, closing costs and another $2,000 to help with down payment, still this homeowner can apply for our down payment assistance and get the 5% up to $15,000 for down payment, closing costs, and any other remaining fees that the home buyer needs to pay within this transaction. Okay. So does the home buyer need to work with any particular lender to be able to apply for the Franklin County down payment assistance? You can work with any lender of your choice. Another question I get a lot is, does a home buyer have to pay the money back that they receive from this assistance? You don't have to return the money received in this assistance as long as you live in the property for six years after the purchase. Okay, so the last question I have for you is really two questions. Are there any other guidelines that our home buyers must comply with? And where can people obtain detailed information about this program? There are other guidelines that applies. Let's say you the, the home buyer has to be first time home buyer or haven't owned a house in the past three years. The location of the property has to be Franklin County and outside the Columbus School District. There are also income guidelines established by HUD, which is based on annual income by family size. To see all the other guidelines that the program has, I recommend that you go to homeportlearning.org and preview the guidelines of the program. Or you can also call to 614-545 4895 and leave a voice message with your questions. I would be more than happy to call you back with the answers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leiden. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this valuable information. With the rising cost of housing and the competitive housing market right now, this will help a lot of our clients obtain their goal of home ownership. I want to give a special thank you to Isabel because she was very instrumental and getting these changes approved because she really cares for our clients 
and saw that there was a need for these changes to allow more homeowners to take advantage of this great program. So thank you again, Isabel. And if you wanna get more information about this program or wanna take some of our free classes, you can contact us at homeportlearning.org or you can call us at 614-545-4895 for some more information. Thank you and goodbye for now.